Welcome to Draw This. In this episode, we're going to be drawing a ladder. I'll be using Corel Painter 2015 today. You're welcome to follow along with me. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it Front Rail. Then I'm going to select the Scratchboard tool. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to switch to straight line drawing mode and then I'll hold down Control and Alt and drag my pen to resize my brush. And I'll just do a couple taps to draw a straight line. Next, I'll round those sharp corners using the bulge brush. You just basically push in towards those points with kind of a bigger brush and that will smooth them out. I'm going to select the arrow tool and then I'm going to hold alt and drag to drag a clone of this layer to create the other side. I'm going to make it kind of slightly diagonal from the first rail. And I'm going to name that layer back and I'm going to move it underneath the front layer in the layer order. I'm going to create a new layer for rung and I'm going to select the scratchboard tool again along with a different color and then I'm going to use straight line drawing mode again while following that angle that I established to draw the first rung of the ladder. I'm going to select the arrow tool and I'm going to move that up a little bit. And then I'm going to use the bulge tool again to round off those sharp corners just like I did before. Then I'm going to select the arrow tool and I'm going to hold alt and clone the rungs as many times as I want. Then I'll just go through each of those layers and straighten them up and make sure they're all aligned and evenly spaced. Once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and group all those layers together with Control G. And then now I'll be able to transform all those layers together using Free Transform, which is found in the Edit menu. I'll select Skew first, and that'll let me adjust the angle of the rungs. When you're satisfied with that transformation, click the check to apply it. And then we can also add some perspective distortion. We can click on the perspective distort tool and we can distort it vertically or horizontally, depending on what you want to do. Let's try distorting it the other direction and make it look like it's going up into the sky. And then let's go ahead and merge the rungs layers together with Control E. We'll turn on Preserve Transparency, we'll sample that red color, and we'll go ahead and just fill those rungs with the same red color. I'm going to select a darker red and then use the airbrush to go ahead and add some simple shading to these rungs. And I'll add some shading to the rails as well using straight line drawing mode. We want to keep a shadow on one side and the highlight on the other. I'm going to select a different highlight color, like a brighter orange, and draw on some highlights with the detail oils brush. I'll also draw on the bottom of the ladder. I'll make that dark so it stands out. Then I'll select white and I'll draw on some light highlights here and there. I'm going to add some shadows to the rungs on the rail layer. And I'll also add a hole for the rungs to go into. Next I'll use a white airbrush along with straight line drawing mode to add some white environment color on the shadow side of the railing. And then I'm going to add a shadow edge along the very, very far edge of that as well. I'm going to group those layers, turn off preserve transparency, do select group content, and then create a new layer at the top of that group for texture. And then I'm going to dim the opacity of that layer after adding some texture with the sponge. Next, I'm going to add a new layer for lighting. I'll set this to a multiply composite method and I'll use the airbrush along with select group content to keep the paint within that selection, just to paint a nice gradient. And I'm going to dim the opacity of that so it's just a subtle transition. And then now we can move that ladder around or put it into a new composition and use it however you like. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PSD. If you enjoyed this episode of Draw This, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.